Hey guys, welcome back to another video and greetings from Nagoya. Today we are in search of delicious street food from Osu, a popular shopping and entertainment district in the city of Nagoya. I'm so excited today because this area is a street food paradise. We ate so many foods when we came last time in January, yes. but we couldn't try all because it is so many varieties. Yeah. I can't believe we're already back here. Because we are craving for these foods. That's right. So we're going to take you along with us and we're going to go in search of more delicious street food here in Osu today. The Osu shopping district has over 400 years of history as a commercial district serving the locals. There are more than 1200 shops here within 8 shotengai or shopping streets with a good mix of old and new making this the perfect destination for everyone. There's also a few Buddhist temples here. First place is Jerry's Uno located at Higashi Nyomon Dori. This is a place that uh, offers up tacos and other Mexican food at a pretty reasonable price and we got the special taco now I do have to mention that this doesn't look like a taco maybe it just tastes like a taco it looks more like a burrito to me <laughs> but you know the price is super reasonable for this it's only 400 yen they also have hard tacos if that's your preference they also have um, taco rice which is like an Okinawan specialty like a Japanese version of a taco bowl all right we're gonna give it a try i'm really looking forward to this because i'm every time i come to nagoya i pass by this place and i i think does the tacos here taste any good very curious itadakimasu hmm that's actually pretty delicious lots of good flavor the reason why i'm a little confused is it actually doesn't taste like mexican food there are no like that familiar Mexican spice or anything. Um, this tastes more like um, yakiniku or like a pulgogi, like a like Japanese soy sauce based barbecue sauce. You got the lettuce and you got the cheese in here and you got the, the ground meat. But like I said, it does have like a more Asian flavor. I'm gonna one more bite. Mm, okay. <laughs> And then the other side, you got tuna and some mayo and tomatoes as well. Very, very different from what I would consider a taco. Nevertheless, it's delicious. It's pretty delicious and pretty substantial. This is special. Chicken and meat and tomato. Chicken and tuna has a similar flavor. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, I understand what Shinji said. Uh, this flavor is adjusted to the Japanese taste bud. Lettuce is shaki shaki to, it's crispy. And meat flavor, meat and chicken has a Japanese favorite flavor. It's like a yakiniku. Mm, this is tasty. Mm. All right, my mistake guys. I thought this is tuna, tuna chicken. This has very similar texture. I want to try it again, you know, making sure I know it's chicken. <laughs> is it definitely chicken <laughs> i think it was a mixture of chicken and mayo and i got like the flaky part of the chicken that you know made me think it was tuna and just like you said you know it is um geared towards japanese taste but i like it i really do and now i'm like really curious to try the other stuff especially the taco rice that looks pretty good one thing I noticed about the Osu Shotengai, mm -hmm. the street food here, mm -hmm. is very international. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. seen um, Brazilian food. I mean, we tried Brazilian food the last time. You know, today we just tried uh, tacos, mm -hmm. although it is uh, Jap Japanized, mm -hmm. but still very tasty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of Korean things, Taiwanese things. I like this. Mm -hmm. I really it's, like this international flavor. Especially this Higashi Nyomondori and mm. Nyomondori has has, uh, have lots of international restaurants. I really, really want to come back again. I don't think we can eat everything here, just like the last time, you know? This is so much fun. All right, so uh, we walked into this side street and this is something that I do recommend you guys do because there are quite a few shops here that are interesting, some restaurants as well as places that serve street food. And here we are at one of them. We came here 
San Popan Ozu, located along Monju Komichi, Monju Koji, we bought thick omelette sandwich. Look this thickness. Beautiful thick sandwich. Thick omelette sandwich. They are using three eggs and uh, put mayonnaise on uh, both sides of this omelette and this bread is cooked with butter and put a little bit of ketchup it's optional ketchup is optional mm. first the bread buns it is toasted with butter it is a good tasty butter flavor and texture is sakusakuto yes sakut toast toasted bread this egg it's really fluffy, fua fua, mmm, and it's combined with mayonnaise and ketchup flavor nicely. There's a harmony of bread, egg omelette, and mayonnaise, of course ketchup. This place has a really interesting variety of things on offer. You know, they have this tamago sandwich, which is one of their signature sandwiches, but they also have like miso katsu sandwich. They have something called tamasen, which is like, like, um, egg sandwich between two shrimp chips so i don't know i feel like i have to come back again of course if this is tasty itadakimasu wow mm. that's good mm. like satoshi said the bun is toasted it's toasted in butter so the bun itself is very very buttery but the egg is the star of the show here. The egg is so thick. It's cooked perfectly. It's not runny nor dry. Very good flavor. Matches the mayo and just a little bit of ketchup. Very simple sandwich, but the egg is really delicious. Look at how fluffy the egg is. Look at that. And look at the bun. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like soaked in butter. But at the same time, it's not like, you know, mushy or anything. It's nice and toasty. And buttery this is really good and I kind of like this atmosphere I, I love this narrow street here you can actually sit on the bench here they sell alcohol here like beer and uh, sake Japanese sake so you can sit here you're probably open late at night I love this atmosphere all right guys so we have come to the end of this particular shoten guy uh, this side of the shopping street is a little bit older a little bit more traditional uh, you see a lot of kimono stores a lot of secondhand shops a lot of shops that have been you know in business for a very long time like there's just one clothing store that have been in business since 1888 that's insane and right across from that store is the uido shop now the last time we were here we did try uido from another well-established mm -hmm. shop but i'm curious to try this one is it okay if we try yeah. uido again yeah let's try let's right. try so we visited osu uido talking about nagoya sweets uido is necessary Uido is a very traditional Nagoya sweet and simply made with rice flour and sugar. And it is steamed. They become like this. And this one is Chimaki Uido. Chimaki is a traditional or seasonal Japanese sweet eaten around Children's Day. It's May 5th. Regularly, Uido is eaten as it is, but this one is wrapped with bamboo leaf. <laughs> Looks like kamaboko fish cake <laughs> but it's not kamaboko more like mochi rice cake mm. 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 it's sweet and bouncy at the sweetness level is just right it's very simple but clear sugar flavor i did not know about uiro so well before we came to nagoya and now i'm a fan of uiro all right, the pack came with three pieces of uido. One was the plain, one comes with kokuto or brown sugar, and the last one is matcha. I think I'm gonna try the matcha uido. All right, check that out. I love it, I love it. I can actually smell the bamboo leaf. It smells very, very aromatic. Okay, so before you eat, make sure to peel off the bamboo leaf, unless you're a fan of bamboo leaf. Look at the texture. Look at the texture. This is the texture of uido. Dewa itadakimasu. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. First thing I noticed about this particular uido 
is that you get the taste and the flavor of the bamboo leaf. That is really, really nice. And then after that, I get the taste of matcha, which is really also nice. I do like, I, I like that combination of matcha and bamboo leaf. And like Satoshi says, it's not super sweet. It's a natural taste of cane sugar. All right, let's try the last one. This is the kokuto or the uh, black sugar one. So I guess I'll feed you. There you go. That's for you. And this is for me. Mm. Mm. It's very subtle in taste. Mm. Mm. I do get the kokuto flavor, the, the black sugar flavor. But once again, it's very subtle, not overly sweet. And it is different in flavor and texture a little bit from the other place we went to. We can't really say which one's better because they're both good. They're just, you know, slightly different. Both very, very delicious. You guys try both and let us know which one is better. So next we are walking Osu Kanon Dori and we found very, very pretty sweets. It's a waffle on stick from Sheshibata Express. And look, this is called Kurogri. The flavor is salt caramel and custard. So you can see salt caramel and custard cream on top of this beautiful waffle and almond bits. Why I chose this? Because Shinichi loves salt caramel and I love custard. And you can see a bit of vanilla in this beautiful custard cream. This is a pretty interesting idea. Waffle on stick. Mm. The waffle outside, saksakuto and a little bit chewy. This salt caramel has a good flavor. Just sweet, just right the sweetness. And I like this custard cream. It's so, there are so much custard cream on top and shape is very beautiful. It's like a water drop. So I had one of these in a different flavor when I came here sometime last year alone and it was really, really good. So I'm glad that uh, we, we're getting to try this again, especially Satoshi, he's never had this before. But this one looks amazing. Mm, delicious, delicious. First of all, I am a huge fan of salted caramel. Salted caramel, anything. I love, don't you guys love it? But mix that with custard and serve it on top of a crispy waffle. All right, the next place is from a shop called Enshi Daiji Pai. And we got their Lulo Han Onigiri or onigiri sandwich or rice sandwich. Luluhan is a typical Taiwanese rice dish that's really, really delicious, but they've made this into onigiri form. Uh, this place is located on Akamondori. Akamondori is a place in Osu that is a center for all things anime, maid cafes, everything you can think of that is available in Akihabara in Tokyo. Yeah, the, you got the Nagoya version of Akihabara here at Akamondori in Osu. So check it out. So this is the onigiri. It kind of reminds me of the uh, onigirazu that we used to make on our channel. The onigirazu, you guys remember that? Okay, so that looks like in tamagoyaki, I do see some lettuce and I see the, what is this? The, the stewed beef. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's pretty tasty. All the flavors of Lulu Han in here. I'm not sure if this is beef. I, I think it's pork. It could be either beef or pork. I'm sorry, I don't know. But it's stewed in this really beautiful soy sauce based sauce. It tastes just like that Taiwanese dish, Lulu Han. Yeah, with the addition of the tamagoyaki, uh, gives it like a slight sweetness to the whole thing. But it's delicious. And I like that they make it fresh. The lettuce leaf is still crispy. Another Pretty substantial snack, how to say. This looks like Okinawan rice sandwich, but more than like onigirazu, yes, like Shinichi said. I like this thick, beautiful egg omelet. Mmm. Mmm. This is a very nicely stewed pork meat seasoned with soy sauce based sauce, yes like Snitch said, and they added Chinese spice. So it has a very good flavor. I like Lulo Ham, but I like it this way because it is convenient. You know, we were talking about the fact that there are temples in this area. One is the Osu Kanon Temple. That's, that's the major one. But there's also one inside one of the Shotengais. Can you believe it? 
And at first, I thought this was a casino of some kind <laughs> or a game arcade. But this is an actual temple yes. with a long yes. history, yes. right? Yes, long history. Yes, very important temple in this old town. Incredible. So we came back to Higashi Niomondori to eat dessert. We came to Rekorto Osu. We found very interesting stuff. It is soft serve, but the bottom part is sweet potato. And this cream is blended with sweet potato. And this side, black side, is charcoal, but flavor is chocolate. This shop specialty is sweet potato cream. So let's try from the sweet potato part. Mm, very rich, soft serve. Mm, milky, but same time, it's sweet potato -y. The texture is not just smooth, it has a little bit like sweet potato, mashed sweet potato, chocolate part. The color is charcoal, but flavor is chocolate. Interesting idea. Mm. Oh, good bitter chocolate. Mm. Oh, we found a very nice thing. Mm. And the bottom of this soft serve, they are using the real sweet potato, steamed sweet potato, but cannot reach now. So, before eating the sweet potato, please try Shinichi this. So that's the charcoal I'm going to try. Just the charcoal by itself, although I did get some sweet potato. Mmm, tastes just like chocolate. But also, I, 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 I taste the charcoal as well, I gotta say. Hmm. Okay, let's try the sweet potato part. I think I might like the sweet potato flavor more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I much prefer the sweet potato flavor, I think. Let's try it together. I feel like if I, if, I, feel like if I eat it together, the charcoal slash chocolate flavor is gonna overwhelm the subtle sweet potato flavor. No, I can still taste it. I can still taste the sweet potato. I might like the straight up sweet potato soft serve more. Just because this way I can still taste the sweet potato, but the flavor is not as strong. Mm -hmm. Finally, I reached to the sweet potato. Here. Oh, real sweet potato. <laughs> the, real, the word real is not suitable maybe. The actual sweet potato. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's sweet and soft, creamy sweet potato. I can enjoy the distinctive sweet potato flavor. This is a really good idea. The best part is the bottom of the cone because it is completely filled with the sweet potato paste. That's the best part. Mmm. Mm. I'm totally stuffed. I cannot eat anymore now. Oh my gosh. I am stuffed and I am ready to take a long nap, guys. But I'm so happy we did this. I'm so happy that we came back for another round of street food. Even this time around, we actually want to eat the uh, the pizza. And we also want to eat um, the, the bao. There was, there was this uh, street bao thing, sandwich thingy, mm. that looked really delicious. but. We just can and so we have to come back again. Again, know, yes. To, to film the other things that we <laughs> yes. couldn't eat this time. This place is endless. <laughs> endless. So uh, what were some of the standouts that the, we had today? The egg omelette sandwich. Oh yeah, that was yeah, amazing. The very thick one. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. The egg was so fluffy. Okay. And buttery toasted buns. Mm -hmm. Sakutto texture. Nice. Second favorite? Second favorite. Second favorite is a Lulohan rice sandwich ah okay well you chose different for me my favorite one was the taco oh, the taco. burrito mm. looking taco i really enjoyed that i know it's not a real taco but i kind of liked it and it tasted really delicious and my second favorite one was the waffle the mm. salted caramel custard dream like waffle amazing all right, so we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please leave your comments down below and let us know what you think, which ones were your favorite. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel and you like videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. 
Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye everybody.